What's your name? Carly. Carly. Carly the artist. Yes, Carly B. <laughs> Carly B. Is that how they find you on your social media? Yes. <laughs> okay. And you're now pouring beverages. Yes, I am. I, I'm multi-talented. Well, that's gonna look good. <laughs> So tell me about this evening. What's this evening all about? Uh, so um, just a little chance for people to come before the crazy crowds during the crawl. Um, last year, because of social distancing, they put the crawl over two weekends. Okay. Um, but this year, because there's no restrictions, it's just back to the one weekend. Uh, we did get some feedback from people last year that they sort of liked coming when it was a little quieter. So we just invited people if they're not as comfortable uh, coming when it's crazy to have a little preview. And not everyone's quite open and ready yet, but it's just a nice little uh, preview to what the weekend's going to be like next next week too, so. Oh, oh, go ahead. Being filmed <laughs> for posterity. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So this is Carly B. She is an artist, and she is just explaining to me what all of this is. I'm inside a warehouse. Can I keep in line? Yeah, yeah. Can um, I get a glass from somewhere? Got cups oh, now. Okay. Okay. Out of the glass, glass, glass here. Fine. You're in the. Uh, <laughs> and is it just for your eyes? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm doing oh, it. Okay. Yeah, can I don't wait. Ah, uh, red please. Sorry, disturbing you. <laughs> no, you're not at all. It's part of the show. Ah, okay. Are you an artist? No, I'm the artist wife. Artist wife, okay, yeah. I'm going to come. I'm the one who makes him come to the, do this. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd still be sitting at home. Oh, well, it looks really great in there. Thank yeah, you. yeah, it's been. Helpful. I will come and last... film you in a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a customer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So. We are inside, it's kind of like a warehouse at the corner of William and Clark. Clark. Yeah. And it's a consortium of artists that come here and they have space for mini studios inside a big studio. Yeah, essentially this whole uh, top floor here is uh, just rented out to artists. Um, so yeah, it's just our workspace. Um, they're, they're, we can fit up to 50 artists in here. I think right now we're pretty close to full. There's a few vacant studios, so we've got maybe about 45 of us in here right now. So five maybe open. Yeah. So if you're an artist in the Vancouver area or from somewhere else and want to come to Vancouver, you probably can get a space here. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't started showing yet because? Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm not quite ready for this weekend. Um, I'm just preparing for the main weekend, which is next weekend, the culture crawl, Eastside culture crawl. So talk about that because I only saw that from Tammy's posting that uh, the crawl is yeah. going around and looking at studios or what's it all about? Yeah, I'd say it's uh, definitely the biggest art event in Vancouver. Okay. Um, so uh, every, there's a sort of a crawl district. Um, there's a little map over there that you can check out after. Um, sure. But yeah, so it's, uh, basically all of the east east side and uh this is where most of the studio spaces are in vancouver there oh, okay. there are some that are outside of the crawl district but okay. um it is kind of the main area that artists rent space okay um so the idea is basically just to invite the public into your space and um so they can kind of see what you what you do and uh a chance to sell some work or just get some exposure and um it's a fun event it's a free event um and so you get the little map you can just kind of literally crawl around and pop into Go all the studios give yeah. So this evening is kicking that off. Yes. Right? And then in the following days, 17th to 20th, I think I saw, um, people will be able to uh, go to each of these studios that are represented here tonight and others. Yeah. 
Okay. Many buildings all through the east side. I'm Do you have your own as well somewhere else? Or will I, this be I, yours? I rent here as well. Yeah, I'm just, just on the hall. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything hanging out? I, I do, I just... <laughs> you don't want me to film I mean, you can definitely take a peek, it's just, it's okay. not, uh, it's it, it's like how it would be when I'm normally working. Uh, normally, okay. the idea is we sort of clean up our space for people to walk through, so all my all my materials are kind of out and everything like that, but yeah, definitely I'd be happy to show you around. Carly B. Up today, you'll be stronger, because you're storing up your energy today. Grassy hill and look up the blue sky. The sky is your canvas. Draw anything with the white clouds. filming you? It's fine. Uh, you have your own little studio here? I do. And what, what's your name? Christina Parasini. Okay, I'm going to put a YouTube together of, or whoever wants to talk nice. and maybe it will help get you some exposure. That'd be great. <laughs> what's your name? Danny. look up the blue sky. The sky is your canvas. Draw anything with the And how long have you been an artist? Oh my gosh. Uh, I've, I've only been seriously working at this since about last year, but I've been a graphic designer for years and I worked in, I was mostly a print designer, so I've been working with paper and for clients doing paper constructions like CD packages and greeting cards and things like that. So. Oh, and are you still doing that? I'm still doing that. That's, yeah. that's the full-time job? That's the part-time day job, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what's unique about your art? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's using the play of light and shadow and low okay. relief to kind of bring a little bit more wonder and intrigue to certain instances with the maps. Okay. It's something that's pretty recognizable and common, but bringing a bit more of a sense of, you know, play and adventure to... Okay. Yeah. To something we recognize. Beautiful. I wish you much success. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> nice to meet you, Crystal. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where can be with you forever? Forever. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Are you the artist? Yes. What's your name? Lauren Morris. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Danny. Oh, hi, Danny. I'm just going to put a little YouTube together and okay, well, give you some exposure. Don't do that side. Do this side. This side? No, this, this side here. This side. This is the better one. This is your, this is your uh, best one? I think so. Ah, there's your name. To keep my dreams, it's all this upside down, I that I may. And your art is a reflection of what in your thinking? What? Um, I mean, I see a lot of beautiful flower color on all, but what? I think, I think there's a lot of healing in my work. People say it makes them feel good. Oh. Uh, I do a lot of layering and a lot of depth, so there's always something different that keeps the interest of the viewer, you know? So okay. I kind of through visual imagery, I like to create like an emotion, okay. as opposed to just looking at the flowers. How long have you been an artist? Uh, about 
for 12 years. Yes. Why did you become an artist? Because I was originally a graphic designer and okay. when I immigrated from South Africa to Canada, okay. it was much harder to find graphic design work, so I did part-time work, huh. graphics, and then I started to paint on my kitchen floor as a hobby and to fill up my time. My son was at school and then it kind of just evolved and evolved, so I'm basically self-taught. Huh. It's beautiful. The more that I've learned that the more that you do, the more experience you get. And also, yeah, started teaching a little bit of art. And so, yeah, are you teaching now? I do, I've done lots of workshops, yes. Okay. Yes. I've spent a delightful time in Johannesburg and but better in Cape Town. Oh, okay, that's where I'm from. And I spent time with uh, Gareth Ackerman. Uh, Gary Ackerman, Ackerman, yes, he yeah. had pick and pay. Pick and pay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so I think that that's why I sort of the color that I brought into my work is obviously from South Africa. Kind of keeps South Africa alive in me. I love Canada, but I think it sort of keeps me still connected to South Africa. Thank you, Lauren, for sharing okay. some time. And uh, I'll put this together in a week or so, and then okay. hopefully it helps give you some okay. stories. Your name is? My name's Danny. Okay, Danny. And my YouTube's Advisor Danny. Thanks, Thanks I wish you all the best. It's all this upside down.